Unaware, the noose around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark
scene's port closed. It's forgotten all about its road shark. For now. Crazy Eye used to be my favorite lighthouse. That people named him me. Those are the best people to make. Now they got it out of me. Tell you, that the food is a lot less fun to drink. If only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. Shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. Battle is over, but the war goes on.
shark should consider returning to the water. Another
the predator displays a sinuous elegance of movement. retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection.
haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Hunger is a driving force for the bullshit. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.
publicly displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. The Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. 
shark attack too often provokes Port Clovis locals into killing every swimming creature along the coast. Sapphire Bay with a shark situation. Let's show this shark what the Coast Guard's all about. Society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Port Clovis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. Now this man is unusual. Sapphire Bay has had several fears. 
three that were destroyed by hurricanes, and two that collapsed due to substandard construction and safety deficiencies.
Terminators stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a single visit. Head out to Sapphire Bank. Multi-million dollar menace, Mama Maybell. situation further escalates. is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
a distinctive smell. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. We need a Stream is just one of many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. Hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow through floor plan.
fish takes quick evasive action. Evaded justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. Trimoran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. Benjamin Franklin marveled at how quickly the Gulf Stream allowed him to travel back to America after his many Parisian hoarding expeditions. The third iteration of Pier 1 famously collapsed on the day it received historic landmark designation. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so amateur hour begins.
Atlas has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Tail whipping is not the bull's primary hunting method. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
Golden Shores was built on an elevated coastal hazard area. And while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. Shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feet. Responds with swift retributive action. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. Baton Tordu was built just in time for the slow decline of golf as a popular sport.
Some ichthyologists theorize that sharks are attracted to come ashore by the refreshing tropical scent of wine bottles. See that hole there? Suck it in one shot like a knife. And if Cliff Gillich tell you I didn't, he'll lie. I should investigate. Being natural cowards, shark hunters will often call for backup upon spotting them. averages just 16 shark attacks each year, so this year will be quite the anomaly. Another shark hunt brought to a close. An intensive shark hunt is now underway. Human's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so this ends the battle.
bitter feuds and quasi-legal get-rich-quick schemes set aside for now, the shark hunters get to work on it. SGA Rule 4.182 might have saved these damage clubs from abandonment. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed as they continue recklessly building along the coast.
Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. What you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Oh, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. But, I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings.